Hello there. A few weeks ago, I made a video about Deconvolution Lab 2. And in that uh, video, I used a measured point spread function. I want to this time use a calculated point spread function. And so this is part two of Deconvolution Lab tutorial. If you haven't seen part one, please go check it out. Um, it's important that you see that one first. Okay, I'll try and keep this as short as possible. Uh, I've got a data set here, nice uh, 64 slice convocal data set of a bit of blood vessel, of course. Um, it's got some nice elastin fibers, some smooth muscle, some internal elastic lamina with little holes there. Nice little data set. And if we looked at the orthogonal view of that data set, you'll see it has a nice curve curvature to it so it's you know it's a, it's a segment of the top part of a blood vessel all right first thing that we need to do is to create generate a point spread function so i'm using fiji and i go down to my point spread function generator this beautiful little utility here gives me the option of five different point spread functions so let's uh, just go with the first one, a Gibson Lanny 3D optical point spread function. I would need to fill in the refractive index of the immersion media and of the sample, the working distance of the objective, some other stuff I know about the collection parameters. This includes the wavelength of the emitted light, the numerical aperture of the objective, the step size and so on and so on. And if you have collected that data set, then you'll know um, all of these parameters. The size of the point spread function will be the same size as the data set 256 by 256 by 64 and then let's just run it and see what happens. There we go. It pops up this little window here and it gives me a lovely point spread function which I can see by viewing on the orthogonal views. There we go. Lovely point spread function. Um, and I would save that as a series of TIFF images into a folder and call it my Gibson Lanny point spread function. Let's do another one. Let's do a Richardson Wolf point spread function. Let me see the progress down here. Here we are. Get some parameter information about that point spread function. Uh, it looks nice. It looks a little bit different. We'll check that by looking at the orthogonal views. So you see a more symmetrical um, point spread function compared to this one. It's unfortunate that Fiji only shows you one orthogonal view set per, uh, per data set. Um, so, okay, you see I've got two quite different point spread functions modeled using the same parameters but obviously using different algorithms. So how do we apply this to our data set? Well I shall get rid of my point spread function generator because I have already generated my point spread functions. I have my original data set here and I will make that the active window. And my point spread functions here, I have previously used three different point spread functions. All that is required here is that I would drag my folder of images which contain my point spread function here. I would just drag these into this window. Um, so let's go with uh, this one here, the Gibson Lanny. So I've got a Gibson Lanny point spread function, which is this one. I'm going to deconvolve the active window. And the algorithm I'm going to use is the Richardson Lucy with 50 iterations. Oh, let's just run it. Shows you here the, the speed. And that's going to take a little bit of time. So it could take a few minutes. I'll probably speed up at this point. Right, there we go. It took just about 90 seconds it seemed like quite a long time when uh, when I was sitting here waiting for it but uh, now that's pretty that's pretty good isn't it? it's quite fast so here is the original data set 
here is the deconvolved data set using the modeled point spread function and you see yeah it's a bit sharper isn't it I'd maybe just in uh, just enhance the contrast just so that so that you can see that a little bit more clearly do all of the slices so it's quite nice a uh, little bit of artifact that I talked about uh, in part one if we get rid of those um, additional slices by going to stacks tools slice remover very useful uh, first 16 I think yeah let's just take the first 16 out okay that looks quite nice and we make a well we could look at the orthogonal views okay you see it's certainly certainly sharper there's less less fuzz uh, let's just make a Z series of that Z projection we'll make a maximum intensity okay there we go and let's do a maximum intensity of this a Z projection okay so when you compare the original image with the deconvolved image hopefully you will agree certainly got a an improvement um, and a great thing about the deconvolution lab is you can play around with different point spread functions both modeled and measured you can choose from the different deconvolution algorithms and what follows is a series of graphics where I have tested three different point spread functions on a few different um, deconvolution algorithms just to give you a, an idea of the, the type of variety of result that you might expect to find uh, when using this kind of approach. So I hope you enjoyed that. Here's the graphics and I'll see you next time.